Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Thursday. Yesterday, Wednesday, recovery day, alternate workout day, makeup, catch up workout day, whatever it is, today is total body. So if you did total body yesterday, one of our previous workouts, you're just gonna double dip, but this will be a new workout for you guys and a little bit of a different template for you guys as well. We're gonna do total body, so that's how we're gonna warm up. But what we're going to do is we're going to do one strength exercise, one cardio exercise, and then one mobility movement, okay? So we're going to try and do things a little bit differently today, and we'll cycle through that. So let's get warmed up accordingly, and let's start standing with our shoulders. Okay, we're going to go 10 to 15 seconds this time. So a little bit shorter, a little bit sweeter, a little bit quicker, a little bit more to the point because we want to throw in a couple of other movements as well. And switch it to vertical. Now make sure you have your dumbbells out. I brought out my bungee for my, my uh, low trap raise today. So I want to show you guys how to implement that. And switch it, switch it, switch it. We've done the low trap raise and the pullovers with the PVC pipe. We're going to do that today with the bungee. Or light dumbbells if you don't have your bungee or PVC pipe. Two one and switch and now it's going to be our second set last set on our vertical and horizontal shoulder mobilities four three two one and time all right so now let's go into those regular shoulder circles here and same thing we're going to stay 10 to 15 seconds so just a little bit shorter than our typical duration but we're still going to do our two sets and we're still going to go through full range of motion two one and reverse and reverse bring it on back and nice and smooth remember we got four ranges of motion down forward up and back to one and switch it okay here's going to be that second set here's going to be that second set of your shoulder circles now the other day let me think of what workout it would have been we did two one and reverse we did um, pvc pipe torso rotations so today again i'm not using my pvc pipe i'm going to do those unilateral one armed torso rotations so you guys can see that if you if you need a visual or just mix it up and try something different two one and time okay so here's going to be that one sided now i'm going to stay just my right side but what we did last time is we did both but i'm gonna take my right arm and i'm gonna rotate across my body pivot and turn my right foot open it up and rotate okay i'm gonna go 10 repetitions on this one two open up palm up three open up palm up four and remember when we do our total body, we want to make sure when we do any sort of torso rotation, we keep that stomach nice and tight so that we are a little bit more controlled and stable. And there's going to be 10. So let's go ahead and go the other way. Now that it's the left arm, left side, left foot, left hip are going to rotate. Still open up and palm up. Rotate it down, thumb down. All right, let's do it too. We got 10 repetitions. One, two, three, four five six seven eight niner and ten and break and shake all right so let's go to our pv or, i'm sorry instead of our pvc pipe low trap raise now you can do this with body weight just your arms you can do it with dumbbells we've done those once upon a time but today i'm gonna show you had to do it with your bungee. So we're just adding a resistance to it. So you can go one foot under the bungee and that's the that's the minimal tension. Your stance, now the only reason I'm staggered stance is because I got the mic cord or cable, but you're gonna wanna square up, okay? But we're gonna get set up in that flex forward or slightly hip hinged stance. And you're gonna go palms up, arms up, just like you do with the PVC pipe. All right, so let's go 10 repetitions in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if you don't have your bungee, then use your PVC. If you don't have your PVC, then you use your arms. All right, bungee pull apart. If you don't have your bungee pull apart, you should know by now that the alternate exercise of that is going to be a dumbbell bent over reverse fly. A little bit lighter. In three, two, one, and going again. We're going to stick with the 10 reps on some of the exercises today. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. One down a piece. Now I'm going to go back to that low trap raise. For me, I'm just going to switch feet just so that I'm balanced. Two sets, two legs, two feet, two sides. It's not going to make too much of a difference, but I want to make sure that I am balanced as much as possible. Okay, 10 repetitions. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. All right, so one more set of our bungee pull apart. One more set, 10 repetitions or bent over reverse fly. Either way, it's gonna be 10 repetitions in our last set. And two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and break and shake, rest, recover. Throw that sucker to the side. Do what you got to do on that guy. Now, we should have created a little bit of tension with that uh, low trap raise and the pull or uh, low trap raise and pull apart. We're purposely trying to create a little bit of tension in the shoulder to increase your temperature. All right, standing hip mobilities, normal standing hip mobilities. These aren't going to change just yet. The hip mobilities on the floor, we're going to throw in some cool ones. So go ahead and do your high knee pull. Now remember, because these are alternating, they're gonna be just a little bit of a longer set. 50. So we'll do our 30 second set. Okay, 10 down, 20 to go. And if you need to switch it to the heel to opposing hip, we still got that second set. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and time. So now we got that quad stretch, got that quad stretch. Now remember, do what you got to do from a balance standpoint, that opposite hand or that not working hand, you can throw that out to the side if you need to. Or reach up or do a double grab. First set, typically I'll take it a little bit on the easier side, depending on if I'm warmed up from sessions or my own workout or at the end of the day, depending on how I'm feeling. Now let's go 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, so here's that second set. High knee pull. On the 15. And I think I'm just going to stay straight on and try and concentrate a little bit more on that pull on the range of motion, knowing that I'll have more specific hip mobilities on the floor. I can really hit different angles on the floor. So right now, I'm just going to go a little bit straighter and higher and harder on the pull. Five, four, three, two, one and time. All right, let's switch it. All right, this guy, gonna try and sneak in that double leg grab and then focus on, same thing, just a fuller, more complete range of motion, AKA better stretch and try to knock that sucker out. 15. Okay, 15 seconds here. Uh, four, three, two, one, and 
three, two, one, and time. Beautiful. Now, before we hit the floor, we're going to do that super squat or that hyper squat. Okay, so this is the one where if you need a stationary object in front of you, whatever it is, a table, heavy chair, something that's not going to move or snag one of your dumbbells since we're using dumbbells today. And we're just going to hold. Okay, and one, go. All right, so we're just going to hold here. I like to move and shift and transfer as much as possible. I like to get comfortable with this, this super squat, this hyper squat. It's a huge, huge, huge range of motion in your hips. And because we're not weight bearing or loaded or doing weighted squats, go ahead and get down, butt down as much as you can, even if there's a little bit of a round in the back, because for right now it is okay. Four, three, two, one and time all right so we're going to kind of be in this super squat stance and we're going to do a super squat or a hyper squat knee drop now we have done this a couple of times where it gets different than your regular super squat is your feet are in, in, in your hips and your body is going to have to pivot and move and rotate and twist so your feet are going to be on the balls of your feet okay temporarily so i'm going to do a super squat knee drop I'm going to drop my right knee to the ground. Now, as I drop my right knee to the ground, now my left foot does go back to being flat. But then I'm going to come up to that super squat, and I'm going to go left knee to the ground. Now, my right foot should be flat. Both heels up, one heel up. Okay, so we're going to do 10, of these repeti or 10 repetitions of these. It's going to be a super squat to knee drop. Okay, so lower a knee, do what you gotta do from a balance standpoint. One, switch it over, two, three. Now what you could end up doing is working on balance and shifting and transferring and being under control and moving and doing that knee drop without holding. You just gotta be a little bit more mindful of your weight distribution and where it's shifting and how it's moving so you can account for that. Or Literally, just put your foot or your hands down. No problem at all. Let's go one more piece. Here's number nine. Here's number ten. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to move my mat back a little bit because now we're going to be on the floor. Okay. We're going to do our hip mobilities, our regular hip mobilities in that quadruped stance. And the quadruped stance is going to be on your hands and your knees. Okay. We're going to start with the left side or whichever side you want. And we're going to do the whole progression with that same side okay 10 repetitions gonna go whichever side you want first i'm gonna go left side going fire hydrants for 10 in three two one and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same side but now kickbacks one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, pick a direction, okay? Pick a range of motion, hip circles, same side, in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten other direction same side and let's go one two now remember these do not have to be a big range of motion if they're correct if you start dipping and, and moving bigger range of motion doesn't do you any good eight nine and 10. all right so here's where we come into that pigeon pose so i just did my left hip so i'm going to step back with my right Okay, and I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna do that pigeon pose, that pigeon stretch. Now remember, this guy, you can lean towards. So if my left leg is up, I can stretch and lean and rotate with my right and collapse down. That'll double dip on that left glute and right lat. I can sit upright and extend, put a little bit more body weight on the hips, or I can collapse. In five, four, three, two 
one and time. All right, so now we're going to switch it. We're going to go the other way. So same idea, same progression, 10 repetitions a piece, just going other leg. Okay, first one's going to be the fire hydrant out to the side towards you in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kickbacks, donkey kicks, going back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here we go. Pick a direction, either direction. You got hip circles. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, niner, ten. Same side, last one, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so come time to the uh, pigeon pose, pigeon stretch, butt stretch, glute stretch. Okay, so that was just my right side. So I'm gonna step back with the left and we'll do the same thing for time here. I'm gonna start with that little bit of a lat stretch. And it does get a little bit of a glute, even though I'm just adding in and kind of focusing on the rotation. It does add, uh, add to the glute, but by reaching with the opposing hand, you're gonna get a little bit of lat. On the underside of your arm, kind of into the back into the hips. It's coming up fine. Four, three, two, one, and time. All right, here we go. This is the time you guys have been waiting for, those movement mobilities. Okay, those are these new ones. We're gonna start with our groiners just to get that movement down or that pattern down. We're gonna start with our regular groiners, 10 repetitions. Then we're gonna do 10 repetitions of your groiner to toe kick. Okay, we'll take a little bit of a break and then we got that under switch. Okay, so a little bit of a progression that we've been working on. So take your time with it. Okay, we're gonna go 10 repetitions, 10 repetitions, 10 repetitions. And I'm going to alternate these. I know sometimes um, in the past we've done uh, same side. I'm gonna alternate these. Okay, here we go, 10 repetitions on just your regular groiners. In three, two, one, and go. One, switch it over because we're alternating. Two of 10, three of 10, four of 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more and then we're gonna go to that toe kick. 10, all right, reset left foot, right foot comes through. You can sit the butt down and lean into it and stretch or keep your hips up. One, right foot, left foot comes through. Two, three, four, five, Six. Now we're going seven of ten. Keep going through. Remember, even if you have to grab and pull and kind of encourage that leg to come through, do what you got to do. Niner, one more time. And ten. Break. Beautiful. Okay, so there's the first part of that progression. Okay, groiner to groiner to toe kick. Now we're going to do that under switch. You're going to be in that crawling position to start, okay? And that's going to be basically your toe kick like you just did, but in a, in a quadruped crawling stance. So I'm going to be here. Now remember, I like to do a little bit of a drop step, fall step to get the foot out of the way. It makes it a little bit easier. So if I do that fall step, drop step, I'm going to go left foot first right foot here okay 
And then we'll just get back into your crawling stance. Don't worry about the hips up, okay? So again, we're gonna do alternating. So you gotta think about it a little bit, okay? Just every time reset back to your crawling stance. Okay, let's do it up. Gonna go under switch, 10 repetitions. Three, two, one, and go. Fall step, under, reset. Other foot, fall step, under switch, reset, two. False, under step, or under switch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, that was your under switch. Now we're gonna do that crab set where you bring your hips up, okay? Okay, and then reach back if you can. If you did not make it that far, did not feel comfortable with that, just do basically a uh, crab set, double leg glute bridge. I'm gonna try and open it up and reach a little bit, okay? So it's the same under switch, and then you're gonna reach. So just a visual, if I go left foot, right foot here, my left hand is reaching. Now if we're not there, when we get to here, that under switch, there's your double leg glute bridge, okay? So let's give it a go. We got one more rotation, one more rotation. Alternating under switch with that reach. Three, two, one, and go. Under switch, and I'm not even gonna put my hand down. Double leg glute bridge with a reach. One, switch it over. Under switch, reach with my right arm. Two. All right, let's do it. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now keep shifting, keep transferring. Now if you're still just doing that glute bridge, do that glute bridge. Maybe you do a one-handed glute bridge. That's fine. Number 10 and break. All right, beautiful. Break, shake, rest, recover. Make sure you have your dumbbells available and your mat available, because we're gonna use them. All right, go about 15, 20 more seconds here. All right, so we're gonna go strength, cardio, mobility. Okay, here we go. Strength, cardio, mobility. All right, so we're gonna do our simple main movements, foundational movements, basic cardio, and your mobilities will be on the mat. Grab your dumbbells, we're gonna go shoulder press, 10 repetitions. Set it down, jumping jacks, 10 repetitions. On the floor, on your back, on your mat, roll to V-sit, 10 repetitions. Three by 10, I'm sorry, three exercises by 10 repetitions, two times through nonstop. All right, so let's grab your dumbbells, shoulder press, shoulder press, 10 repetitions. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and set those down. Jumping jacks for 10. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's your 10. Roll to V sit. However, you want to do the V sit part, meaning touch your toes, touch out in front of you, however you want. We got 10 repetitions. And let's go. One, two. And every time you're at the top, 
That's your exhale, three. Or when you count your repetitions, four. Five, pull the knees into the chest for a better low back stretch. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and break. All right, here we go. Grab your dumbbells again for your second rotation, second time through. You got that shoulder press. In three, two, one, and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, set those down. You're done with those for now to your next rotation, jumping jacks. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, ten roll to V sits. Ten roll to V sits. Three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, five more, I'm going to ten. There's six, seven, eight. Nine, one more time, and 10, and break. Beautiful. Now let's try and minimize the rest recovery in between. So now we're gonna go dumbbell bent over row, 10 repetitions, seal jumps. Again, very basic, seal jumps for 10, and then we're gonna do line leg kick for 10, line leg kick for 10. So one strength, one cardio, one mobility. All right, so grab your weights, bent over row, Basic foundational movement, 10 repetitions. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set your weights down, seal jumps, just like we do our dynamics. Three, two, one, and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten super easy okay line leg kicks this is going to be ten a piece so it's kind of like two exercises you can go non-working leg straight or bent three two one and go one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Pop it on up. Grab your weights. Second rotation. And again, we're trying to keep our, our rest and transition as Minimal as possible. 10 repetitions. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Set those down till your next rotation. Seal jumps for 10. Two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Line leg kicks, 10 a piece. So kind of like two exercises, although it's just the one. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Switch it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and break.
All right, gonna keep our rest and transition as minimal as possible. Grab your dumbbells, you have same time bicep curls. Hammer supinated crossbody zotmin, does not matter, any of the curls we've done, 10 repetitions at the same time. Now to bring in the legs, we're gonna skip the mini split jumps and go right to our drop squats. From the drop squats, we're gonna do a double leg glute bridge, okay? So bicep curl, same time bicep curl, drop squat, and then a double leg glute bridge, okay? In five, four, three, two, one, and go. One, two, and just remember to keep your elbows back and shoulders back. However you're doing your curl, doesn't matter. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, set those down. We got our drop squats or regular squats, but drop squats is ideal. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Now we're gonna treat your double leg glute bridge like a mobility, even though it is very much so a glute strength exercise. So just take it through a full range of motion. Okay, bring your heels to your hammies. Three, two, one, and go. One and squeeze, two and squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, pop it on up, one down, one to go. Now I did say cross body curls, but can't do a cross body curl at the same time but that would be your Zotman curl if you were to do them at the same time. Anyways, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Niner, 10. Okay, set those aside. Okay, drop squats or regular squats, ideally drop squats like your dynamics. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, double leg, glute bridge. Let's do it up, 10 repetitions. Let's do that little bit of a Mississippi squeeze at the top. Peak contraction, a little bit of an extended squeeze. Three, two, one, and go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. And break and shake. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Let's keep that rest a little bit on the small side, a little bit on the minimal side. All right, so grab your dumbbells. They're probably gonna be a little bit on the lighter side, okay? We have your lateral raise. Same time, dumbbell lateral raise raise 10 repetitions. The next one is gonna be those get low, stay low, bungee side steps. If you don't have a bungee, we can still do the movement. It's side steps here, okay? And then when we get to the floor, instead of a mobility, we're gonna hold a plank, all right? So lateral raise, get low, stay low, side steps, plank. Last two, here we go, in five, four, three, two, one, and go. One repetition, two repetition, three. Now remember, you're trying to get the dumbbells and elbows shoulder height, but don't lock out your elbows. Have a slight baby bend in them. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, keep those 
Here we go. Get low, stay low. Ten apiece. And go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Up. All right, let's go ahead and do a 30 second plank. Any plank. I'm going to go on my hands. Going to go. No, I'm going to go on my elbow so I can see my watch. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. All right, so remember, whatever type of plank you're doing, you're trying to squeeze down the stomach, you're trying to crunch the abs. Maybe there's a little bit of a round, maybe there's a little bit of a bowed back, but tighten up your abs like you're doing crunches, but then also squeeze the backside. Okay, 15 down, 15 to go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, number two of two, grab your weights. I actually grabbed the wrong weights, so I'm gonna adjust accordingly. Okay, number two of two, we got our lateral raise in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, done with the weights. We gotta get low, stay low, lateral steps. If we're at the gym, we're doing the mini bands around our knees. Okay, we don't have those, so we're gonna get low, stay low. In three, two, one, and go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and up. All right, let's plank it up. Let's go 30 on the planks, 30 on the planks. Four, three, two, one, and plank. And again, this is just a hold, but because it's just a hold in 30 seconds, we've done longer planks, we've done a planks in harder progressions. Focus on the feel in your form. Think about, make what's called a mind to muscle connection. Think about your abs tightening up and squeezing, getting real strong and sturdy. Squeeze your backside like you're at the top of a deadlift and you bring those hips forward. Okay, here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okie dokie. And break and shake, rest, recover. You guys are done done. So great job Thursday workout. We did an extended warm up, but we had a different template today, okay? We have not done the strength, the cardio, and the mobility in the rotation. So I wanna play on that rotation and that template for a while. So let's plan on uh, doing something a little bit different next couple workouts, but uh, totally, totally give me some feedback as far as the progression goes and the, the template goes. Um, that way I can, I, I can adjust accordingly. All right, with that being said, great job today. You guys have a great day. Um, or if it's the end of the day and you're doing this workout, hope you had a great day and we'll see you guys tomorrow.